The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in the Kupiansk direction, aviation, artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the Zapad group of forces have engaged the units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Dvorechnaya, Sinkovka and Timkovka in Kharkov region and Novoselovskoye in Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy's losses in this direction during the day amounted to over 35 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, and a self-propelled artillery howitzer. In the Krasny Leman direction, illegal and dummy aviation and artillery of the center group of forces have inflicted a fire damage on enemy units close to Chervona Adibrova in Lugansk People's Republic, Terny and Grigorovka in Donetsk People's Republic. Total enemy losses in this direction amounted to up to 80 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles and one D-20 howitzer. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the 66th mechanized brigade of the armed forces of Ukraine was obliterated close to Nevskoye in Lugansk People's Republic. In the Donetsk direction, the Wagner assault groups continue intensive fighting to push the enemy out of the central quarters of Artemovsk. Airborne troops support the assault units on the flanks by preventing the enemy from transferring reinforcement units to the city and giving no chance to the enemy to retreat from Artemovsk. Operational tactical aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Yug group of forces engaged concentrations of the manpower and military equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Kalinovka, Nikolaevka and Stupachki in Donetsk People's Republic. Over the past 24 hours, Russian aircraft made 12 sorties close to Artemovsk and the missile troops and artillery carried out 57 fire on missions to support the group's actions. The enemy's losses amounted to over 300 Ukrainian troops, one infantry fighting vehicle, six armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, one D-20 howitzer, as well as one Gvozdika self-propelled artillery gun over the past day in this direction. In the South Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, Operational tactical and dummy aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces inflicted a fire damage on the Ukrainian units close to Uglidar in Donetsk People's Republic, Poltavka, Verkhnya Tersa and Domelnik in Zaporozhye region. Over the past 24 hours, up to 20 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles and one Stabi howitzer have been neutralized in these directions. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the 102nd Territorial Defense Brigade was eliminated close to Gulai Pole. In the Kherson direction, up to 35 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles and one Gwazdika self-propelled artillery gun have been eliminated during the day. Operational tactical aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have engaged 97 Ukrainian artillery units at their fire on positions, enemy's manpower and military equipment in 124 areas during the day. Their defense forces have shot down nine HIMARS MLRS projectiles during the day. In addition, six Ukrainian unmanned material vehicles were destroyed in the areas of Chervonaya Dibrova, Kremennaya, Pshenichnoye, Rubezhnoye in Lugansk People's Republic, Kirillovka and Volnovakha in Donetsk People's People's Republic. In total, 407 airplanes, 228 helicopters, 3,747 unmanned aerial vehicles, 415 anti-aircraft missile systems, 8,659 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,082 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,576 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 9,487 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side, the armed forces of Ukraine reported that Russia lost 500 servicemen within a day, including 16 armored vehicles, 4 tanks, and 7 artillery units. In total, Russia lost 181,090 servicemen since the start of the conflict, including 3,650 tanks, 7,069 armored personnel carriers, 2,784 artillery units as well as 307 fighter jets, 293 helicopters and 2,339 drones. Russia and Ukraine conflict lasts for 414 days. There is still no peace talk between two sides. The Ukrainian military also released footage of destroying Russian fortifications using Hamas MLRS from America. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky swore not to forgive Russia invaders. There is something that no one in the world can ignore, how easily these beasts kill. We are not going to forget anything.
Neither are we going to forgive the murderers. There will be legal responsibility for everything. The defeat of terror is necessary, Zelensky said. Це не випадковість, це не епізод. Так було раніше, так було в Бучі тисячі разів. Кожен повинен реагувати. Кожен лідер. Не чекати, що це забудеться, що пройде час. Ми нічого не збираємо забувати. І прощувати вбивця. Законна відповідальність буде за все. Потрібен програш терор. Ніхто не зрозуміє, якщо лідери не зреагують. Зараз треба діяти. І нам в Україні максимально зосередитись на фронті, максимально допомагати, гнати окупанта з нашої землі. Головна мета – перемогти. Головна мета – Україні міцність, щоб перемогти. Розгром окупанту, вироки вбивцям, трибунал, державі зло. Вічна пам'ять кожній людині, чиє життя забрав цей російський терор. Слава усім, хто б'ється проти цього зла. Слава Україні! Тримо вас і сюди нонтон! Дякую лупа лайк, сабскрайб, дан шер'я!